Hello everybody and welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name is Hannah and this is my first Fortitube video. I finally plucked up the courage to film one. <laughs> um, so I'm fairly new to cross stitch. I really got into it earlier this year in January and I discovered Floss Tube um, soon after that. And I just love how supportive the community is and how encouraging and positive and just really wanted to be a part of it. So here we are, finally. <laughs> and I just wanted to share with you today um, what I've been doing, what I've got so far. I have my first ever finish, which is really exciting. I finished it on Thursday night. Today is Saturday the 4th of April um, and I also had a new start last night um, and yeah I just wanted to show you what I've got so far and um, yeah, so here we go. So this first, my first finish is what I'll start with and it was actually, it's actually a whip that I've had for a really long time. <laughs> um, my nan taught me how to stitch. I was probably like 10 or 11 I think when she taught me and she bought me this um, kit and I started it didn't get very far put it away and then in January I was having a clear out of the house and I found it I still had it and, and it was completely intact so I thought that I would start it again and um, I really really enjoyed it and then I discovered floss tube and I'm hooked basically so yeah so this is the kit that um, I got it's called Simply Sweet by Janlin Corporations I don't think they make it anymore obviously because it's so old I did try to find see if I could find it on their website a while back because I did run out of some of the threads and I just wanted to see if they um, mentioned what sort of thread they used so that I could find find them but I couldn't find anything like that so um, yeah so <laughs> this is the kit and um, now I will show you my finish so this is it here and it is done on 14 count Ada I still have to take out the grid the grid lines but um, it's done on 14 count Ada um, and I stitched it two over one and I'm really happy with it I know it's not perfect there are a few mistakes but um, that's okay it was my first my first pattern and I learned a lot <laughs> whilst doing this I know the back stitch is too dark <laughs> I used I used two strands of thread and I've realized now I probably should have just used one but um, I know the ball of, the, the ball of wool looks looks a bit weird but I'm okay with that um, I'm just putting it down to that it was my first my first attempt at cross stitch and it's fine <laughs> I'm just really happy that I finally finished it and um, yeah so now I'm going to figure out to figure out how to frame it the um the kit did come with this blue frame and I still have it somewhere somewhere in the house and um yeah so I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to mount it to that and then I'm going to send this to my nan um because I think hopefully she will appreciate it considering she gave it to me all those years ago um, as you can see, some of the colors that I had that I ran out of, I couldn't find an exact match for. So, um, as you can, see, you might be able to see this gold color here. Um, the color that I, the closest match I could find is a little bit lighter, but that's okay. <laughs> and also, this blue is um, doesn't quite match the border but um, I think because that blue 
is just in this little area here and it's not actually part of the bigger border I think it looks fine uh, it doesn't bother me at all <laughs> um, so yeah I'm just really happy that's finally finished and I can frame it and yeah <laughs> send it away to my nan hopefully she appreciates it um, so yeah so that was really exciting to have my first finish um, now I'll show you what I am currently working on at the moment. So I can try not to knock the camera. Um, so this is a book that my nan also gave me years and years ago. It's called The Cross Stitch Project Book by Dorothea Hall. And I'm really glad that I actually hung on to this because there were a couple of times over the years where I really ne very nearly threw it away because, oh, donated it because um, I just wasn't using it. I wasn't stitching. I wasn't really interested and um, but luckily I hung on to it I still have it and I'm very grateful because now I'm using it so I'll show you what I am currently doing um, just need to find it I did have it marked out but oh here it is um, so I am doing making the lacy lavender sachets. I'll try not to show you the pattern on the other side. Um, so these are them here. This is what I am making and I am making these I'm making the butterfly pattern at the top and I'm doing this for my partner's mum because it is it was her birthday last month. So I'm a bit late um, <laughs> but I'm still going to make it for her and then I will give it to her the next time we see her as like a belated birthday present um, yeah so that's what I'm currently doing uh, and I'm doing the butterfly one because she loves butterflies and hopefully she will appreciate it because she loves lavender she grows lavender um, in her garden and she um, yeah so I'm hoping she will like it so this is what I've got so far. I've started this last night and it's just a little start. Um, I'm stitching this on 18 count Ada, uh, 2 over 1. And um, yeah, this is just <laughs> so far. It's only a small pattern so hopefully it won't take me too long to finish. And then I will um, see if I can <laughs> turn it into a bag um i am my sewing skills are not that great um i can't remember the last time i actually did some sewing so but i will try <laughs> and we'll see how we go um and i thought i'd just mention that i am stitching this in hand um i watched um a stitch in mummy on you on floss tube her tutorial on how she stitches in hand. Now she, uh, and what she does is she rolls up her fabric like this and then holds it in her hand and then st stitches away. And so I thought that that looked quite interesting and uh, that's how I have been wow. um, stitching since then and it's been working really well. So if you're interested in that then I would recommend um looking at her video um she even does her big um heaven earth designs um pieces in hand as well so i thought that would that was quite interesting and so far it's uh, so good so yeah so that's my little start and um hopefully it shouldn't take me too long to finish um yeah so that's all i've got going at the moment um, I do have a couple of other charts that I have purchased, um, but unfortunately I can't start anymore just yet because, um, because of the coronavirus pandemic that's going around at the moment, um, here in New Zealand we are in lockdown. The whole country is in lockdown. Um, we have we're into our second week now we're locked down for a month so we've still got three weeks to go but unfortunately that means that 
all the um, craft stores are closed um, and I didn't get a chance to kit up my other projects before the lockdown started so after I finish this butterfly I have nothing else that I can sell up because I don't have any other fabric or floss so I'm really sad um, <laughs> and I'm hoping that this lockdown does not get extended so that I can make it to the make it the spotlight and <laughs> get out my project so that I have something else to do um, yeah so I hope I hope that everyone is coping okay and is staying safe and staying healthy um, I am very lucky and very grateful for the fact that I am able to continue working during this period um, the company that I work for is considered a um, an essential service so I'm very lucky that I I'm still able to work. Um, my hours have been cut. I am only doing three days a week at the moment. Um, which is actually quite nice. Um, I must say having that extra time to be at home and to stitch, even though I'm almost out of projects. Um, but yeah, I really do feel for all those people out there that are really suffering because of this and um, I just hope that everyone is doing okay and that this will all be over um, sooner rather than later um, yeah but um, I will also show you now some of my uh, my other charts that I have purchased recently um, the first one is a chart that was actually kindly given to me when I ordered the fabric for my um, butterfly here I ordered it through Stitch NZ here in New Zealand um, and she kindly custom cut this um, the fabric that I needed to size and then she searched the edges which is very lovely of her and in the parcel she also included a free chart that I was completely blown away by and it is this little um, chart here. It is called Peter's Day Out by Lindy Stitches. And I will show you, try and keep the, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to show the chart. So I'll just show you the finished, what it looks like. So this is it here. And it's just a cute little funny fishing. It is printed in, um, black and white obviously but um I just think that's adorable and super cute so I'm looking forward to kitting that up and doing that um when I can finally make it to the when I can finally make it to spotlight um so there's that one and all my other charts I have on pdf on my computer I just think for me personally that's the easiest way at the moment for me to buy um, charts is just to download them straight onto my computer because then I don't have to worry about shipping because also with fabric as well the reason why I want to buy within New Zealand is because shipping from overseas is really expensive and it takes a really long time so um, yeah so I'll try and insert a picture of the um, patterns that I have on my computer. So the first one that I bought is a, um, a Heaven Earth Designs <laughs> chart. Very ambitious. <laughs> um, and it is called a Special Pleader. And um, here's a picture of it here. I bought this chart because I actually have a picture of that exact girl that has been hanging in my room since I was very small and um, my parents bought that picture and put it in my room because they thought that she looked like me <laughs> when I was little um, yeah so as soon as I saw the the pattern on 
the Human Rights Designs website, I knew I had to buy it because I just imagined having the two girls hanging up side by side and I just think that would be amazing. <laughs> so um, yeah, I bought that one. And another thing that um, I got in my package from Stitch NZ was a little sample of 25 count and 28 count even weave because I um, I've only stitched on Ada but because they rec they recommend 25 count even weave for the heaven earth designs charts I wanted to try it but I wanted to test it out first before I <laughs> went ahead and bought the fabric that I needed um, because I wanted to see how I liked it and which um, stitch that I wanted to use, whether I wanted to do two, use two strands of floss or one strand of floss, whether I wanted to do tent stitch or full cross. Um, I wanted to test that out first and um, Elizabeth from Stitch NZ included those samples in my parcel for free so she is super lovely. Um, and yeah unfortunately um, during this time she is not uh, she is unable to um, ship parcels um, because the postal service is um, only for essential services at this moment so you're still able to order on her website but she just can't post your order to you until um, after the lockdown so <sighs> that's a real shame um, so yeah that was my first purchase and then I have also recently bought another chart from Heaven and Earth Designs because of their sale that they're having at the moment I think it finishes today um, so yesterday I went online and bought um, the Treasure Hunt bookshelf by Amy Stewart and here it is here and I was very brave And I got the super size neck color version, so that'll be interesting. <laughs> but I'm super excited to get started on that. Um, I cannot wait. I just think it's so beautiful. All the amazing colors and all the amazing little characters that you that I you can find um, hidden throughout the pattern. So I cannot wait to start that. Um, yeah, and those are my two Heaven Earth Designs products. Um, charts. I will not I and I'm not going to buy any more for a long time I don't think because two is plenty for now. <laughs> um, and I've also recently bought two charts off of Etsy um, off the shop EL Cross Stitch or L Cross Stitch I think her shop name is. can't quite remember but I'll put a link in the description. And she was having a sale last week where you buy one get one free. So I bought the floral world map, which I just thought was really, really pretty. The part that I chose was the floral Disney castle because I am a massive Disney fan and I wanted like a Disney chart. And I thought that this one was quite subtle um and really really pretty <laughs> but i cannot wait for this lockdown to be over so i can get down to spotlight and get these charts cut it up and get stitching i'm super excited so um yeah. thank you for watching um i hope everyone is doing okay in that the floss tube community is um, keeping everyone's spirits up because it's definitely been helping me a lot. And um, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.